the GK1 semi-automatic pistol by Huben. This small sized beast packs quite a punch, so I just had to try shooting heavier projectiles with it, and I chose the Edgen Diabolos 34 grain. And by the way, in case you're interested in my review video of the GK1, you can find the link in the video description below. I have the new loading gate by Wolfic installed on my gun, and trust me when I tell you this thing is a game changer. It makes loading and even unloading your Huben mag really easy, be that the GK1 or the K1 bullpup. I didn't even have to play with the gun after switching from 25 grain to 34 grain Diabolos. Turns out with its current power setting it's shooting the 34 grain pellets at an average muzzle velocity of 810 feet per second. And I left it there because the accuracy at 40 yards was very good, even in some wind which you can hear in the mic and see in the leaves behind the target. The gun gives me 20 consistent shots with those heavy pellets from a 320 bar fill down to 190. After that I went back behind the camera and let my buddy have some fun too. Having had our fill blinking with this cool semi-auto pistol, we called it a day, but stay tuned guys, because now comes what I'm sure you all are looking forward to. Best control. A sudden change in the weather overnight, check out the ice. Sub-zero temperatures today and yesterday it was 18-19 Celsius, that's what 65 Fahrenheit I think, gotta be careful not to slip. But before we start today's pest control session, I'd like to show you something. And no, it's definitely not that old piece of tablecloth. I don't like any scratches or dents on my gun. Yes, I know what you're going to say. I'm a bit on the pedantic side. The stock that me and my body fashion for the GK1 is now easily detachable. What we did is install this little thingy here, which is the clamp of a cheap Chinese Atlas bipod knockoff. Of course, I had to install a small Picatinny rail at the lower end of the pistol grip. And we didn't damage the beautiful wooden pistol grip at all, no drilling any extra holes in it or anything. Now I can remove the stock quickly and easily. That's 45 yards. Oh, got him. Another one, this one is a bit higher. Ah. 
number three a bit further maybe 46 47 straight down third That was three sky rats in a quick succession. Those guys must have been new on the block. And unaware that trespassing is completely forbidden. Actually, that one over there is still alive. Not anymore. No, I think we have a family here. Those two must be the pups. And that right there should be the mother. She doesn't seem too worried of my presence. I wonder if they'll eat pigeons. Yeah, and there is another one. Right there behind it. Okay. Hey. There you go. <laughs> they got scared by it. Fresh meat, it's cold, it's winter, make use of it. Hmm. No, no, I don't think they'll eat it. Maybe this one is just going to play with it. Well, enjoy. But what do you know, I think the second pup is also interested in the pigeons. And the mother isn't. That's a dove. 47 yards. It's gone. And that's a magpie who wants to eat my dove. Oh, so down. And that's the body of the magpie. Oh, look at what it's doing. It's not doing anything anymore. Now, now it's getting really interesting. I think that's my buddy, the tabby. Yeah, it won't eat the magpies, I know it. And she's not a silly girl. There goes my dove. Okay, let's pick up those two fellas. <clears throat> I'll just set them down here and I'd like to take the time to explain something briefly. Of course, what I wanted to say is about these guys. That's Eurasian magpie, or at least it used to be. I think I've said it on many occasions in other videos of mine. Here by me, those are defined as pests by law and they can be caught all year round. That's why I shot them. So this goes out to all of you who are going to give me hell in the comment section saying that I shouldn't have targeted them, that they were a couple and so on and so forth. Those birds prey on the eggs in the young ones on just about any other bird, not even birds that are smaller than them. So that's why they have a very negative impact on avian biodiversity and hence their status. That's why I shot them. Oh, no you don't. What a nice place you found to perch. Hmm? 37 yards.
at least a dozen of them perching up there on that thing. And that serves to prove that if you leave their numbers unchecked, there's going to be a Eurasian dove infestation on the silos before long. Slippery, gotta be careful. This is where I put all the pigeons and doves that I shot today, and that's all that's left of them. The cats are on to me again. That's 46 yards. I hope there isn't much glare in the scope. And it's two of them in a row. Upward angle. Let's see if we can pull off a double here. No, it's just one. Forty yards, several in sight. Again, I hope that there isn't much glare. Down it goes. I'll drop off at the same spot. Another three birds. I imagine they'll be gone in the next 30 minutes. Yes, just as I predicted, 30 minutes later, one of the birds is gone. Only one left, and I failed to record the feline teeth, so I'll try something else now. Webcam surveillance. Press record, and I hope the wind won't knock it down. Well, surprise, surprise, no birds left. Now let's see what the camera has to show us. That is 50 yards at an insane angle. I have no idea how this one made it that far after a direct hit. I think it's gonna be the last catch for the day. And it's gonna to go to the cat again. The day is almost over, so I'm wrapping this up. But before I do, there's one more thing that I'd like to say, guys. You gotta love the Hubin GK1. I know that I do. Compact and powerful. It may not be a long-range rifle, it's actually a pistol. But short to medium ranges, this gun rocks. So did you guys enjoy this video? I hope you did, because it sure was exciting for me to make. I'd like to take the time and thank you for all of your support, for watching, for the super thanks you sent me and everything. And hope to see you in the next one.